Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and in this class we will do a 20 minute yin yoga routine for the upper body, releasing tension in the area of your neck, shoulders, upper back and chest. We begin with a simple neck release, so come to a seated position, maybe sit up on a block or a blanket to be more comfortable. Hands rest on the knees, extend the crown of the head upward and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder, keeping your chin elevated. Pull your shoulders away from your ears, let your head be heavy. You can stay here or to intensify it, reach the right fingertips out to the side. You may even bring your left hand towards the top of your left head. Don't pull down, but instead think of lengthening the ear further away from your shoulder. Staying in the next stretch, lift the chin and rotate it upwards, leaning back with the head ever so slightly. This takes the stretch into the front side of the neck. Keep your breath slow and full. Really relax all muscles in the jaw and the neck. Now dip the chin slightly down towards your right shoulder and armpit, taking the sensation more into the back of the neck. Use your hand if you had it up to bring the head back to neutral, very slowly. And notice if the side we just did feels any different compared to the one we didn't do yet. Coming to the second side, sit, sit up with a nice tall spine. This time left ear comes to the left shoulder, chin stays parallel to the floor. If you want to progress further into this pose, walk the right fingers out to your side. Remember to always glide the shoulders down and back. 
maybe even adding the left hand on top of the head for even more lengthening here. Fully relax and let go. Slowly lift the head up a little bit, rotating the right chin up to the ceiling and be very mindful here and don't go too far. So if you tend to hold tension in your jaw, this is a really good release. And rotate the chin down, looking to your left shoulder and armpit. Think about inviting in more space with your breath into the area of your neck, maybe even your upper back between the shoulder blades. Lift back up to center, maybe use your fingertips to press into your left temple to bring the head back up. Take a moment here. And then let's come into tabletop pose. So remove any props you've been sitting on. making our way into puppy pose or also called melting heart pose in yin yoga. Keep your hips directly over the knees, walking the hands to the top of the mat as you melt the heart and your head down towards the floor. If this feels like it's a little bit too intense for you, use a block under your forehead. Remember to find your edge. We're not seeking the deepest stretch in yin. On a scale of 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5. Let gravity do the work, soften your neck 
in your upper back. Slowly walk the hands back towards you using arm strength to lift up and then slide down onto your belly. We're making our way into a lying chest opener. So the right arm goes out, bend at a 90 degree angle and roll onto your right side, legs can be bent or straight. Sometimes I find it more comfortable to place a block underneath my head, but you can also let the head rest on the mat, whatever feels best for you. The left hand can either push in the floor in front of you to help the shoulders open up some more, or you can bring it to your low back and let it rest there. Release the pose and make your way back to your belly. Slowly easing our way to the second side. Left arm bent at a 90 degree angle out to the left, palm flat to the mat. Roll over to your left shoulder, hip and ear. Try out which variation for your right arm feels best to you, either pushing into the floor in front of you or maybe wrapping it behind your low back. 
take deep and intentional breaths into your shoulders and chest. And remember, you can always come out of the pose if it gets too intense. Right hand comes back down to the mat if you had it behind you. Rolling back to your belly. And pressing back up into hands and knees. Since this is a short practice, we will close in a seated meditation together, but always feel free to lay down into Shavasana instead and stay as long as you like. Sit in a cross leg position, maybe propping yourself up on a blanket or a block. Close your eyes once again and come back to your natural breath rhythm. Let any attempt at trying to control or shape the breath go. Feel your breath travel all the way to your chest, your shoulders, the upper back and the neck. Check in with yourself if you feel any different now than to when you first stepped onto your mat. Maybe there's more space in your neck or your shoulders and maybe not. No judgment, whatever you feel has value. Hands meet in prayer in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose to close. So breathe in. Breathe out. Namaste. Thank you yogis for doing this rather short yin yoga class with me. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments. 
Also don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you again and practice again with you soon.